Welcome to your ultimate guide to master pages. Master pages are super useful for adding elements to your design that can be repeated throughout your entire document. Master pages are great for things like page numbers, guides, and more. In this video, I'll be showing you a few hidden features of master pages that can give you more control over your designs. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to this file in the video description. Before we begin, let me just show you what this file looks like. In this file, we have a front cover. Then we have a few pages, like introduction pages, and then main text pages. And in the end, we have a back cover. To get started looking at master pages, I'm going to come to our Master Pages panel and double click on this master page. This master page has been applied to all of these pages by default. Anything that I put on this master page will automatically appear throughout our entire document. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to select this rectangle tool and then click and drag a rectangle. To see this rectangle a little bit better, I'm going to select its fill color and change its color to a bright color that we can see. We've applied this rectangle to the left-hand side of our master page. Because of this, as we scroll through our document, we can see that every left-hand page has this rectangle applied to it. Anything I do to update this rectangle on the master page will automatically be updated in our main pages. If I change this color here, you can see it automatically update on all of our pages. This is a great way to have control over your documents and automatically update something throughout an entire document. With the rectangle tool, I'll click and drag another rectangle over here and you can see that we now have this long skinny rectangle on all of our right-hand pages. I'm going to delete these rectangles and show you a more practical use for master pages. To delete these rectangles, I'll have them selected in our layers panel and then press on the trash can. I'm going to add page numbers to these pages by selecting our frame text tool and then clicking and dragging out a text frame. Now that we have a text frame, I can come to the top of the screen to text, insert, fields, page number. We now have a page number inserted into this text frame. We can edit this number to look exactly how we want by changing the font, size, alignment, anything we want. We can treat this just like any other text. I'm going to center my page number and then select the move tool to adjust where it sits in our document. I'm going to double click on our main pages to make sure that I like where this is positioned. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'll come back to our master page, click on this text frame, and then I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and click and drag it across. Then I'll release my mouse and Alt or Option. I'm just going to make sure these are lined up. And now we have page numbers on our master pages that are repeated throughout our entire document. I'm going to click on our document to show you that now all of the pages have these page numbers. You can apply multiple master pages to a document. To do this, I'm going to come back up to our master pages panel, and I'm going to press this button right here to add a new master page. I'll name this master page master B, which is the default. Then I'll press OK. We now have a new master page here that we can put anything onto and then apply to certain pages in our document. 
I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to click and drag a rectangle right here. I'll go ahead and change the color to something less intense. <laughs> and now we can use this master page and apply it to certain pages in our document. For example, if we wanted this blue rectangle to be on the side of our introduction pages, we could come to our introduction pages, then press apply master. Up here, I can select which master I would like to apply. And then I can specify which pages I would like master be applied to. Our introduction pages span from pages two to page five. So right here, I'll put pages two to five. And then there's an option right here to be aware of. If I check on replace existing, we'll lose our page numbers that we have added to these pages. I want both masters applied to this page so that we have our page numbers and this rectangle applied. So I'm going to uncheck replace existing and then press OK. If we go back to our main pages, we can see that our introduction page and the following page now have this rectangle applied to them and the page numbers. If I wanted to, I could also duplicate this master page. To do that, I'll right click and then press duplicate. We now have a page called master C and if I double click on it, I can change the color of this rectangle And then I can apply it to our main text pages in our document. I'll right click on our first main text page and then press apply master. I'll apply master C to these pages, which are pages six through page 11. I'll make sure replace existing is checked off and then press okay. You can now see in our document that we have our introduction pages with a blue rectangle on the side and then our main text pages with a green rectangle on the side. It's good to know that you can apply multiple masters to a page. This way, you have more flexibility when altering your master pages. But let's say I don't want a master page applied to a certain page. For example, if I don't want the front cover to have a page number on it, I can make sure that this front cover has no master page applied to it. To do that, I'll come over here and right click on our front cover and then press clear masters. Clear masters will get rid of all of the masters that have been applied to a page. So I'll press on that. And now we can see we no longer have a page number. I can repeat this for our back cover to get rid of that page number as well. So now we can see that we can have pages without masters, with a single master, and with multiple masters applied. But did you know you can actually alter a master page on a single page in your document? I think this is a really cool hidden feature. <laughs> So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's say on our first page that has the blue rectangle, we actually want this rectangle to look a little bit different. If I come over to our layers panel, I can right click on the master B layer and then I can edit this layer. If I click on edit detached, that means I can edit this master page and it won't affect the other pages that have this master applied to them. I'll press on edit detached, then I'll select the move tool. I'll click on the rectangle and I'll bring it down. Now this rectangle has been altered on this page. 
but if we scroll down, we can see that it has been unaltered on this other page. And on our Master B page, we can see that the rectangle still appears at its full length. I'm going to press Finish. And now we can see that we've altered this master page without affecting the rest of our document. Now that we can see what it looks like, when we edit our master page detached, I'm going to come down here to our main text page and show you another way that you can edit your master page. I'm going to right click on master C and then press edit linked. Then, with the Move tool selected, I'll alter this rectangle. Because I'm editing this linked, moving this rectangle has affected all of the pages with Master C applied to them. It's even affected our Master C master page right here. The last way that we can edit a master page is by editing the frame content. This is the default of master pages. If I right click on master A and then make sure edit frame content is on, I can click in here and I can edit the content. I can change this from a page number to anything else and it won't affect your other pages. It's just affecting this text frame. And finally, the last thing that you can do to a master page, I'll just click on a new page here, is we can right click on the page and then press lock. This means that our master page will be locked and we can't edit anything inside of it on accident. With these different settings and ways you can alter your master page, you can make your document look however you want. You can make it so no masters are applied, multiple masters are applied, and you can even edit a single master page within your document. Master pages give you so much control over your designs. If you like learning these master page tips, then you'll love our complete beginner's guide to Affinity Publisher, which I have linked in the video description. This course is full of video tutorials and practical examples like this one, so that you can jumpstart your publisher skills. I can't wait to see you in the course.